the white jeans, my tear streak. Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to the vlog. Today we are on the way to the Instagram beach event. Instagram's hosting another event like they did last year, which is also crazy that it's been a year since that. Oh, we flew our kite. That yeah, was the first time flying a kite, wasn't it? Yeah, I, well at least since I was a kid. So we're on our way to Malibu. It's at Gladstones, which is like a nice restaurant that has like a beach attached. I don't really know, but we're on our way there. I'm wearing this like cute little bikini top. I'll probably take off this shirt when we get there. Just hang out with Instagram for the day. So what's the TV thing even means? Oh yeah, what Instagram TV? I don't know. But I did make a video, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Seeing if I can, you know, keep up with all the things. But yeah, I just wanted to start the vlog off. We're almost there. Should be fun. Matt's also gonna be there with his friend. Should be a fun little afternoon. than last year's, but it was very fun. The tacos we had were delicious. I don't know what kind of tortilla it was, but it was like fluffy and thick and so good. I put so much guac on there, it was amazing. Now we are stopping by Third Street Promenade so I can return a couple things from Forever 21 that were too big on me. And I guess we'll just like walk around here a bit, may as well. I leave in pretty much a week for a very exciting trip. So I wanna like, buy as many things as I can to have for, oh, hello, uh, to have for this trip. So we'll see if we can snag anything while we're here. The American flags. I know, 4th of July. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to Victoria's Secret, attempting to actually use my gift card. We made it happen, got some stuff, and now we're heading out. How do you like your experience in here? I love, I love looking around here. <laughs> We got the bag holder over here. Bag boy. Bag boy. That's when I got brandy. It was really overpriced, but I, it was just like a good basic, you know? Urban. All right, it's just about seven o'clock. So traffic hopefully has died down a little bit. So it doesn't take us like an hour and a half to get back. home after an hour and a bit of traffic even though we left at like seven it was still so long got a bag of candy from the event that i brought home got a t-shirt has you know there's the instagram tv thing also made myself some food we got some chicken and mashed potatoes and you know what time it is finale time finale Almost time finale. we are going to watch the end of dexter we've watched this for the last like couple months now and here we are at the end. We are going to watch the finale, the series finale. I'm fine. Well, you finally I'm gonna sad, get to see what happens. But I want to know what happens. Yes. It's the worst finale of all shows I've ever seen. No, ever. I don't agree. But you don't know yet. It's so good of a show. I wouldn't tell to say it, even if I thought. Okay, no. If you think it, you have to tell me what you actually think. Don't I'm lie like, just because you like this show. I feel like I've said one of the scenarios that could happen, and all the things I've said, like I don't think are bad. Well, we'll have to see if you said one of the scenarios. 
Ah, <sighs> it's going to be a very dramatic night. <laughs> two hours later. Two hours later. We just watched the last two episodes. Can you see? Oh, you can see my my tear streak through oh my, my makeup. It's horrible. Horrible. What did you think? I liked the ending. You had hyped it to be so Who good. the hell likes that ending? That like it, it made so much sense. No, it was awful. There were so many things that didn't need to happen. Everything was wrapped up, but just like not the way that I hoped it would, basically. Who knows? This is just so sad. Now it's 10 30. And I'm upset. Yeah, you know, have to watch some friends now. If you ever watch Dexter, prepare yourself for the ending. It sucks. Mm. Apparently not to Taylor, but he also said at the beginning of this that he wasn't gonna admit it if he but didn't it, like no, it. No, but this made sense. Like You're a weird one. All right, just took off my makeup. Taylor just left. I hate that finale. It's just, I just wish everything went differently. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys, obviously, but I wish it was different. Definitely. But I'm gonna watch Handmaid's Tale, even though it's Tuesday, and technically the episode comes out Wednesday, but it comes at like 10 p.m. Tuesday night, so I'm like kind of cheating the system and watching it a day early, but I'm not mad because... I love it. It's like probably my favorite show right now. Handmaid's Tale is just like incredible in every single way. So I'm going to watch that now in bed and then I'm gonna watch Friends for the rest of the night and that'll be my evening. I even brought a cookie to bed, which is on my nightstand. But yeah, that's about it. See you in the morning. Hello guys, it is the next day. It is Wednesday, June 27th. And today, Jill and I are getting massages. I am so excited. I haven't had like a legit massage in so long, it feels like. Jill was poking around and found a massage place that wanted to give us massages. Oh, I think Jill's here. Yep, so we're heading over there. It's in Silver Lake and I'm so excited. So I'm not wearing makeup. I just put on mascara and filled in my brows a little bit so that I like looked enough put together. Just made it to the place. Oh, it smells good. So we're in the waiting room now. It is so cute in here. Like, look at this. They gave us some lemon water. I, oh, you look great. Cool. Thank you. I am back from the massage. It was so nice. I love massages. My eyelashes are all squished now. Can you see? Look at that, they're all squished down from having my head down in the hole. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg as like a snack, and then I'm gonna have some chicken later, but this is just quick and easy, so may as well. And then I have a couple packages to open that I'm actually really excited about, like both of them are gonna be so amazing, but I have to show you after I eat, because I'm too hungry. I have these hard boiled eggs from Trader Joe's. They come pre-peeled and everything. Jill told me about them, and I was like, this is brilliant, so. Got some of this. I never just eat them like a regular steak. I created my own deviled egg recipe and I do it every single day when I eat these. It's so good. So you just cut it in half. Am I doing like a little recipe right now? Maybe. You got the egg cut in half and then you're just gonna take out the yolk. For some reason, the yolk texture just kind of freaks me out and that's why I don't eat it just like how it is. I'm sure I'd be fine with it. It just kind of weirds me out. So I tried something new. Obviously we're putting an avocado in here. Now avocado is kind of brown, but it's gonna taste the same. Pretty much all I do is I mix the yolk with the avocado. I actually did this in a video. I discovered it while I was filming a video. Kind of funny. I'll have a link down below. It's my Instagram followers decide my day. That's on my main channel. So once it's all like mixed, I take guacamole seasoning and cayenne pepper. My guac seasoning is from Sam's. Some of that in there. And then I use some cayenne for some spice. I like spicy things a lot. And then I mix that back up. Then I just scoop the mixture back into the egg. Then the last thing I do is I go in with pepper, garlic powder. I like a lot of that on there. Some Himalayan sea salt. And then lastly, some more cayenne pepper. And there it is, my delicious little snack. It's just so good. I love it. Okay, just finished eating. I know I'm standing in the same spot. I literally just stood here and ate it. But I'm gonna open up these packages. I'm so excited. So the first one is actually from Madewell. They offered to send me some stuff and I'm like, what? It's Madewell. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I have two pairs of jeans. I've actually never tried their jeans, but I was really curious. Oh my God, I love these. Here's the first pair. They have like a seam that goes down, just like my shorts actually. I really like that look. They're just like a little, medium wash high-waisted then i got a pair of white jeans i don't own any white jeans because i tend to spill things on myself but here they are high-waisted 
white jeans. And then lastly, I got a shirt. It's this red top and it like ties. Super cute. The material is really nice. Very like Madewell feeling. So yeah, thank you so freaking much, Madewell. I'm like beyond honored. And then we have another box that is from another clothing company. I'm also so excited. This one is from BB Dakota. Hi Tara, we're so excited for you to have these pieces. We can't wait to see how you style them on Insta. XO Gracie, thank you so much. Oh, oh yes, I remember now. So I got some stuff from their pre-fall collection. So I got this really cool set. We have this skirt that is like plaid and just like really cool for fall and then I have the matching blazer. I don't really own any blazers and I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity to do so. It'd be really cool with like a tiny little crop top. Do this and then obviously with the skirt, so cute. And then I have from their like loungewear, I got these little shorts, great like comfy shorts and then the matching little top. Love it, thank you so much. I'm so excited about all of this. So here's the medium wash jean. I love the seam down the front of it. I think that they're like a little bit too big like on the back. They're just kind of loose. And then you can see, obviously, they were supposed to be skinny jeans, but. But they are so comfy and like stretchy and just like they feel really good on. Here's the white jeans. You can see they're like a little bit loose here. And I don't think it's like the jeans fault. I've always kind of had problems getting jeans to fit me here because my lower leg is pretty like small in comparison to my thighs. So it's kind of hard to find jeans that fit perfectly, but I would say these are pretty solid in terms of jeans fitting me all the way through. Taylor's here and Big Brother is on. I am thrilled. I just, I can't believe it's back. Julie Chen. I'll sign up for a bunch of uh, earrings. Oh yeah, we should go to see one. We're at the end of the vlog, what's new? But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know and subscribe, click the little notification bell, turn on notifications so you don't miss any uploads. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next vlog. <laughs>